Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew Ostentowski, back with another UFC prediction video. This time UFC 305 Duplass C versus Adesanya. This event goes down Saturday, August 17th, 2024. Prelims begin at 6 p.m. It's going down from Perth, Western Australia. Great fight card, guys. Can't I cannot wait. A lot of good matchups on here. Casey O'Neill against Luana Santos. Um, Luana Santos, she just won back in July over Maria Agapova. Casey O'Neill, she's on a two-fight skid. I'm going to side with Luana Santos here. Jack Jenkins against Herbert Burns. Surprise, Burns is still in the UFC. Three-fight losing streak. This guy just, you know, he's just not, I don't know what his deal is, but we know how dangerous he can be in the first round. Jack Jenkins, I think the UFC kind of wants to build this guy up a little bit. He lost to Marzikal with an arm injury, but I'm going to side with Jack Jenkins here to, to get to get out get back on his winning ways here. Keenan Song against Ricky Glenn. Keenan Song dropping down to 155. Surprise both these guys are still on the roster, but I'm going to side with Keenan Song here to pick up the win. Stuart Nickel against Jesus Aguilar. Um, I'm going to side with Stuart Nickel here, but he's making his UFC debut. Aguilar is 10 and 2. He's already got some UFC experience, so I'm not going to be surprised if this guy picks up the win here, but I'm going to side with the newcomer in Nickel. Kulobao against Ramos. Both guys on losing streaks here. I don't know how anybody can trust Ramos anymore. I'm going to side with Kulobao here to get back on his winning ways. Junior Tafa against Walter Walker. Walker, brother of Johnny Walker. He's looked absolutely horrible in his UFC debut. Tafa, I, I, I like this guy, man. He's a tough dude. He's always looking for the knockout, man. Um, lost to Marcos Rogerio de Lima. No shame in that. He just got his legs kicked out from under him. Beat Parker Porter. Lost to Mohamed Usman. Um, you know, no, no shame in that. Uh, I just think he's in a, I think he's in a knockout walker here. I'm gonna side with Tafa. Tom Nolan against Alex Reyes. Alex Reyes, brother of Dominic Reyes, on a two fight streak, uh, losing streak. Just recently returned to action and lost to Charlie Campbell last September. Tom Nolan, man, he's uh, seven and one. Just coming off a. Of, Coming off a win over Victor Martinez. Lost to Ma Nicholas Molta before that. I'm going to side with Nolan here to pick up the knockout win. Up to the main card now, guys. Mateus Gamrod against Dan Hooker. I think Gamrod can do enough to get by Hooker here, man. Uh, I think Hooker's got some decent takedown defense, the better striking. But I don't know if he's going to be able to get Gamrod out of there, man. So I just see Gamrod with a lot of control time here. And I just see Gamrod picking up the win. Jing Li, Jing Li Li against Carlos Pretes. We haven't seen Lee in action in a while. Carlos Pretes. This guy's got some very good striking here, man. Um, nine fight winning streak. Just fought in June. Knockout win over Charles Racky. Beat Trevin Giles before that. Beat Mitch Ramirez prior to that. I'm going to side with Pretes here, man. This guy. This guy looks like he's going to be a force at welterweight. I'm going to side with Pretes. Tie to Avasa against Jarzinho Rosen streak. To Avasa, man. Four fight losing streak. We know the UFC likes this guy. He's a fan favorite, but man, this guy gives up easy. No, no uh, ground game. So this is going to be interesting here, man. I mean, he's lost to all top guys. But man, R Rosen streak coming off that nice main event win over Gaziev. He cashed for me as a dog. I'm going to side with Rosenstreak here, man. I just think he's the cleaner striker, but it will not surprise me if Tuavasa lands and, and knocks out Rosenstreak here. But I'm going to side with Jarzinho to pick up the win. Kai Kara France against Steve Urseg. I know a lot of people are going to be riding Urseg's train here. I'm going to take Kai Kara France with that dog money, man. Um, we're looking at a plus 180 right now on Kai Kara France. Haven't seen him in action in a while. He's four inches shorter than Urseg in height. He's got a slight reach advantage. I'm going to side with Kai Kara here, man, just because it's a three-round fight. But, again, it won't surprise me if Urseg wins in his hometown. Drakus Duplassi against Adesanya, man. I, I just like Drakus Duplassi, man. I, I don't really know where Adesanya's head is at. Um, Again, they had a press conference. Wasn't a real big one about a month or so ago. Duplessy, I, I mean, that was a close fight with Strickland, but he, he he hung in there. And did I ever think this guy would be UFC middleweight champion? Absolutely not, man. 
I kept thinking he was going to lose his next matchup, you know, time after time. But he picked up the win over Strickland. I did pick him there, but, I mean, there could be an argument that Strickland won that fight. Adesanya, like you said, like like DDP said to him, man, you know, and this guy's golfing now. He's already been at the pinnacle of the sport. You know, what, what's, what's his motivation here? You know, I mean, there's some bad blood between these guys for sure. But, uh, you know, Adesanya is getting a title shot. And, uh, you know, he, he lost his trickle in 11 months ago. And he hasn't fought since. But the UFC has given him uh, a title shot again. Um, he was a long reigning middleweight champ, so I understand. But uh, I'm going to side with DDP here. I just think he's the more well rounded fighter. I think Sean Strickland kind of shows you that he can be beat. But if Adesanya starts getting off on those uh, low leg kicks, those calf kicks, man. Uh, you can just see him out voluming DDP here. But I'm going to side with DDP here. This should be an exciting fight. But I will side with Duplessis. So, guys, my picks Duplessis, Cara France, Rosenstreet, Freites, Gamrot, No One, Tafa, Kulabau, Nicole, Song, Jenkins, and Santos.